today I have my new Louis Vuitton video. Basically, I'm going to be kind of unveiling my new Louis Vuitton video. I actually did a Twitter post um, with the bag. I, the, I didn't show you guys the bag in the video, but basically they gave me a big brown Louis Vuitton bag. But basically, um, yesterday, or Friday actually, um, I went to the Louis Vuitton store in Birmingham and I actually decided to purchase myself a new bag. Um, I've been wanting this bag for like forever and you'll have to wait to see what the bag is. But I was, I've was i been wanting this bag for forever. Obviously, it's been on my top of my list to buy and I just never have because I never had the money and then I finally sold all of my pretty much all my purses on eBay and I, I earned the money back but today I have my new Louis Vuitton video as I just said five minutes ago so before we get into the video I do have to do my FTC kind of thing and this is not sent to me but I do want to say real quick that my parents did not purchase this bag for me they did not purchase this bag for me I purchased it with my own money um I'm thankful that they even allowed me to buy it um they are very kind to me and nice to me and I appreciate that um a lot of people would be very surprised that an almost 16 year old has three Louis Vuitton bags. At this moment I have three. One is pre-loved and two are new. Um, but I am very happy to have what I have. And I probably won't buy another one for a really, really long time. Probably till I'm 18 years old. So just kind of to give you guys a heads up. But I'm really excited and I want to let you guys know that I did sell most of my bags to earn this to get this bag. I sold most of my handbags. I sold um, a lot of my wallets. I only have like one wallet now. I, I sold some of my like so, like some of my old DSIs and stuff like that. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the video. Hey guys, so today I have my unveiling of my new bag that I purchased from Louis Vuitton uh, Friday in the Birmingham store. And so I'm going to jump right in. I've already done the intro. I've already talked about how I purchased it and stuff. So I'm going to jump right in. So this is the bag I decided to get while I was down there. This is the Neverfull MM and the, I'm going to try to pronounce this. Please do not get mad. This is how the lady told me to pronounce it and this is how the website's told me to pronounce it. It's Damia. I print and um, that's how I've heard it pronounced it may come off weirdly on camera because I'm a southern but uh, it's the Damia a bean print I think that's how you say it she said a bean print I think it's a bean that's how I heard other people say it but I may have that completely wrong so please don't get mad at me if I just don't know quite how to pronounce this because being honest here I don't speak French so basically it's the checkerboard pattern that's what it means in English if you're searching the underlying word of what the word means so basically I decided to get this bag because um it was between the PM, it was between the GM and the MM because the PM was totally out of question. I was like, no, I'm not going to get the PM. The PM is way too tiny. It would be like, a, it would be a waste of money, obviously, because it's only $20 more to get this this bag, the size I got. So it's $40 more to get the other size, which I did not get, which is the GM. So overall, I like the MM better on myself. Here, I'm going to do a modeling shot real quick. Like, seriously, here it is on me. It fits perfectly on my shape and my size. I'm 4'11", depending on, well, depending on a good day, I could be 4'11", some days I'm 5 foot, so it just depends on what you're, where I'm at and where I'm getting measured. Sometimes I shrink, so anyway, um, but I really like this bag. It's really adorable, and I decided that I needed the Damia, a, Damia a print because I, I already have two monogram bags, and I didn't do the, um, never, the pre-loved bag video. I, I'm about to film that in a few minutes. Uh, but I do have another a new baby that I purchased about two months ago or a month ago off of eBay. And I will be doing a video about that. I had it authenticated yesterday and it was authentic, which I'm super excited about. So I'm going to be doing that video tomorrow. Um, no, I had it authenticated Friday. So, um, but basically, I'm in love with this bag. Obviously, um... I chose this print because it's easier to take care of. Like, when you're taking care of the monogram pattern, it's very hard to take care of because you're having to um, take care of the, the vachetta. You're going to have to take care of the... You don't want it to patina. If you're like me, I like the patina on bags, but I don't want it to get too dark. Um, I don't want to have to worry about it getting white rain on it. This one can get raindrops on it and would roll off. It wouldn't even show because it's dark and it's not going to show. So let's get into the inside of the bag. So basically, on the inside, you have a little, like... I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this is the only thing that holds it closed is this little like thing right here you kind of undo it with your fingernail I guess it's hard to kind of undo with these fingernails these Edward Scissorhand fingernails but okay um, but here it is here's the inside of the bag and obviously it is the bright red I like to call it chic pattern because it's so cute I just love the redness of it it's something that you just don't see on that many bags I think a million people have said that but I agree with them um, and um, yeah I think it's gorgeous inside it's just the red with the um, right here it says Louis Vuitton uh, blah 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 like articles des voyage blah 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 can't speak French so I don't know <laughs> um, like for all it know it could say, call me something mean I don't know what it's saying but for all I may start Google search it I'm not sure but basically um, a lot of your the first question I'm probably gonna receive is is your bag made in France. This was a big thing for me to deal with was, I'm sorry, my lip is itching for some weird reason, but 
but, um, sorry, phone ringing, um, but it was a very hard thing for me to go through because I wasn't sure if I wanted one made in France. I already have another one made in the United States, which is my pre-loved one, and I have one made in France, which is my Speedy 30. Um, but I was not sure if I wanted, if I if I got another made in the USA, if I would be happy. So I went to the Birmingham place, and I was like, do y'all have one made in France? And they were like, let me go check in the back. So she went to go check in the back, and they did not. So they only had made in the United States ones. So... Pretty disappointed about that, but I decided to purchase it anyway. I called up three different stores to see, like, one in Atlanta, I think the Peachtree one, um, one in Nashville, which was not helpful at all. The Nashville one was not very nice at all, and the Atlanta one, and then they, they none of them had them because they said in the South, it's really hard to get made in the France ones. I don't know why that is, but they said it's really hard to. So, if you live in the Los Angeles area or if you live in California or somewhere, it probably will be easier for you because you're living more towards, I guess, this is how they described it. It's more towards that area. I don't really know what they mean by that, but basically, yeah. So, mine has, and a lot of you are going to be like, ew, I know, but I got the ugly cloth tag in mine. I don't necessarily think it's ugly. I think it's kind of, I don't think it's ugly at all, actually. It's a, it's a cloth tag right here. I don't know. You probably can't even see it. It's right there. And it just reads made in the United States, uh, all important, all imported materials. Now, that does a little bit bother me that they would put a clock tag in a, such an expensive bag. They should have written it down. But I can also think that I'm not going to be snobby about it and call it ugly and call it, you know, hideous. It's, I paid for it and I knew what I was getting, so there was no other option for me. And, um, I'm fine with it. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal. Personally, I don't get mad about it. Obviously, it's no big deal. So, um, to me, I don't really have a a, a botherness about that. So, um, anyway, but mine is made in the United States for any of you interested. I know a lot of people hate that, but I think it's actually good to I buy one in the United States because it's better for our economy and stuff like that. So, I'm, I'm also proud that I did as well. So, um, inside, I know I already have one made in France, though, by the way. Inside, um, it has this big pocket right here. This can actually come out. You know, you can shake it if you need it to. You have the zipper pocket, and then on the, on the left side, I believe this is the left side, you get a, um, you get your your little what is this called date code tag and I know that people have said it's getting harder and harder to find it was really hard for me to find it took me 30 minutes google searching it where to find it and I finally found it after just finally giving up and I looked all over the bag I could not find it and they said it's getting harder and harder to find I don't know why that would be some people said it used to be just straight under the pocket mine was all the way on the left side and you can barely read it but I'm gonna read it to you guys so mine says SD which means it made in the United States um 213, 21, no, 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 2103, so 2103, which basically means it was made in 2013, I don't know what the other letters, or the other numbers stand for, so please don't ask me, I, if you know how to pronounce that, and you know, I mean, if you know how to kind of tell me how the date code is, please let me know down below, um, but yeah, and then if you're new to this, also, these little things that are hanging down from the side, actually cinch in the bag, so what you can do is, I'm still getting used to how to cinch in this bag, it's really quite hard to do, like, obviously, I don't know how, why it's so hard to do, but basically, you have to pull in the tabs, and then pull in, like, the bag, I guess, I'm not quite sure about how to do this yet, but, um, yeah, kind of like that. So you'll kind of cinch it in like that, and it'll be cinched in on one side, and then you can cinch in the other side as well. So it kind of looks like this after <laughs> everything's cinched in, like kind of like that. It'll kind of look, it, that looks terrible, but basically it'll kind of look like that after it's kind of cinched in. It's really cool looking. My mom did it the other day for me. She's like, you want to cinch in? I was like, sure. So I'm not very good at that. But basically I love the bag, and I'm in love with it. I basically am just happy with it. So um, I think it's my favorite, actually, all, out of all my Louis Vuitton. So next thing I want to talk to you guys about was they did give me a box. I don't know if all stores give you a box. I basically asked, um, told them that it was my birthday present to myself and it was actually. So they gave me a box, obviously. So I don't know if everywhere gives you a box. You're supposed to get a box everywhere, but I know not everywhere does. I also got a little like leather tag, little leather strap wrapped around the bag. I also got my receipt bath thing where it just basically came I have the which was inside the bag which was the Neverfull MM Danier uh Damia uh N51105 bag it just says that so I guess that was the price tag and then this is the Louis Vuitton coated coated fabric cowhide leather trim and then I've got the Saks Fifth um 
receipt and I've also got the red original Louis Vuitton receipt so and I also have the dust bag in there as well so basically I'm going to talk about the experience real quick of going to a store and buying it I know I have one that I ordered off of eBay and one I ordered off the online website of Louis Vuitton which is Louis Vuitton.com um I basically had a really great experience at the store in Birmingham. They were very nice to me. Even before I bought anything, even before they knew I was going to buy anything, one of the managers offered me something to drink. She's like, do you want a Diet Coke or do you want a Sprite or something? I was like, no, thank you. But that was so sweet of them to ask that. I feel like that's what you deserve going in there. You should be treated like a princess because you're about to spend a lot on a purse. Um, but I did experience I did experience really niceness overall. The, the woman who helped me, I don't know what... I think I could probably tell you guys the sales associate name was... Um, I think... I don't, I don't want to say it because I'm scared that she might get mad at me, but basically I had a great experience. The people were very nice there, and I will definitely be shopping there again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys very much. See you next time, and bye!